and signs that you are dealing with an actual narcissistic person as people can have similar behaviours to narcissistic people. However, it's the intentions behind that behaviour. It's whether it's a one-off or a repeat pattern of behaviour. Narcissistic people are usually going all out to gain that validation and attention from those around them to feed their ego, to hide their insecurities. So a few signs that you might be dealing with a narcissistic person, and one of the first of these is their sense of grandiosity. They have that inflated sense of self-importance, believing that they're uniquely talented and exceptional at things and deserve recognition and praise and attention. They go all out to boast and brag and exaggerate about their achievements, the places they've been, the things they've done for others because they're only doing for others in order to gain that praise and recognition in return. They're going to flaunt things in other people's faces while accusing people of boasting and bragging the people that the narcissist are usually envious of because they need that excessive admiration. They crave the constant attention and appreciation to feed their ego, to bury their insecurities deep down so that they can believe that they are in the right because other people agree with them even though they rewrite history to match their reality, to match the narrative that they want other people to believe. They lack empathy to care about other people. They will undermine your experiences, your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions. They are solely focused on themselves. Share good news with them, they've done better. Share bad news with them, they've suffered worse. They're not interested in that two-way conversation to relate unless they're looking to build an emotional bond with you. You can watch something heartbreaking on TV and they simply do not care. They will, they might sit there and say, good, some people deserve it, or that's nothing compared to what I had to go through. Tell them how you're feeling when something has upset you. They'll tell you that you're being too sensitive. Tell them about an experience that has happened. They'll accuse you of overreacting. They're not interested. They lack the empathy to care. Remember, if they wanted to, they would. And they only do when they want to create those feelings of obligation and indebtedness within you to them at all other times. They're not interested in you. They're some of the most self-entitled people you could ever meet go to a restaurant that requires booking a table, they won't book a table, they expect to be served, they might start bringing up people they know that they don't even know. Go to a fast food restaurant and if it's not served in time, they're going to have an issue. They're going to start trying to belittle the staff because they believe they're superior. They don't recognise that they are the same. They believe that they are better than others. So they have unreasonable expectations of people. They expect unreasonable preferential treatment without doing anything to sort of deserve that treatment. They just expect to have it there and then. They will give you unreasonable demands. They will make unreasonable demands of you. And then when you fail to live up to their unreasonable expectations, they will destroy you. They exploit others to get their needs met through various tactics from love bombing to idolisation to breadcrumbing and future faking, devaluation, gaslighting, blame shifting, projection, silent treatments, those passive aggressive behaviours. They're highly manipulative. They will use emotional blackmail to get their needs met because they're looking to exploit people into no longer being able to think for themselves and to live life on the narcissist terms. They are very envious of other people. If somebody achieves something, they'll mock it, they'll scoff it, they'll humiliate that person. They might offer insincere praise if it's in front of an audience and they're looking to look good, 
yet as soon as that person's back's turned there, well, who'd want to do that? Who'd want to go there? What would you want to buy one of those for? They seek to tear everything else down because they're envious of other people. Not only are they envious of other people, they believe other people are envious of them. And as it becomes sort of ingrained in their personality, they create scenarios to provoke envy within other people. They create competitions that you know nothing about. They create jealousy. They instill jealousy within you and then accuse you of being jealous and insecure and having trust issues because they like the empathy to care for how they've made you feel. They just feel valid that you're the one that's actually envious of them. They are very arrogant people. They're always right. If they're wrong, they're always right. They tear everybody else down to boost themselves up. Confident people know their limits, know what they know and know what they don't know. They're honest and open and try to help other people feel better. Narcissistic people, arrogant people go all out to make other people feel worse. They believe they're special and can only be understood by a certain group of people and that People should look up to them without doing anything to deserve it. They believe they're better than all others. So those are just pawns in their game. And they have that preoccupation with fantasies of ultimate success. And then with the majority of narcissistic people, they, they borrow the dreams and the hobbies and the goals and the desires of those around them and pass them off as though the narcissist wants them to, to create that bond. Only it's not the narcissist's dreams and desires. They just borrow them temporarily. And then when it's no longer working out for them, they move on to somebody new. Narcissistic people are preoccupied with perfectionism. Now we can all become perfectionists for various reasons with a narcissistic person, they believe they are perfect. And it turn around and accuse you and say, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were perfect. People who are perfectionists are often constantly trying to perfect things because they recognise oh, that's not quite right, that's not done right, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do the other. It's not perfect. Nothing ever really truly is in the world. Ooh whereby people who are perfectionists constantly try to reach the what feels like the unattainable, a narcissistic person believes that it's enough. They are perfect, they've done enough. If you criticise it, you're wrong. The narcissist is right. So they are preoccupied with those fantasies of ultimate power and brilliance and success. And when they don't attain it, they believe that it's because other people stood in their way. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or any signs that you notice, please do add those into the comments of people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot get no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, a narcissist handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you're unable to go no contact, if you'd like to check those out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.